Hi, I'm the Godless Engineer, uh, and I recently ran across an article that said that in a recent Gallup poll, 57% uh, of people think that religion can actually solve all or most of our problems. Okay. Why not? Right? So let's test that theory a little bit here. Let's take a few problems that we have in our world today and let's see um, let's see how religion handles them. I'm an American and most of our problems are with Christians. Let us uh, look into Christianity for this. I'm sure I'm sure Islam has way better ways to handle this. So what problem should we attack first with religion? Mm. I mean, modern medicine has uh, come a long way, and we 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 advance modern medicine all the time. Surely, religion has some better answers than you know science. So there's this blind man, and he Jesus is just like. Oh, you're blind? Oh, okay, hold on. <gasps> Can you see now? No? Just rub some dirt in it, motherfucker. What about now? What does he do for deaf people? He plugs their fucking ears up, and then he looks to the sky, and he says, Release, and then he can hear. So, well, what exactly caused these things? I mean, you know, science has germ theory, so surely religion has some kind of idea as to what it is, right? As they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with a devil. Jesus says that, that sickness is actually devils. That's way better than germ theory. It's not like... It's not like we can look under microscopes and see germs, right? Those mute devils are sons of bitches. So, uh, how exactly does Jesus um, remove these devils that he perceives in people? He casts them into pigs and they run off a cliff. Every hospital from now on should be stocked with pigs. Not just for the bacon purposes, but uh, for casting out devils. Because clearly if a woman comes in with cancer, she doesn't have cancer cells that are eating away at her body. No, she's obviously got a devil inside of her that's causing all kinds of havoc on her system. Of course. Oh, and what do you do with sick women? Hmm, I'm sure the Bible has an answer for that. And Jesus came into Peter's house. Um, he saw his wife's mother laid. She was sick. Uh, he touched her. And, and the fever left. And then he said, go make me a sandwich. This is a Jesus I can get behind. Woman, make me a sandwich. I guess you got to be the son of God. Okay, so um, now that we've tackled sickness with religion, um, how about we attack... Um Surely the Bible has something to say about rape. As well as uh, contemporary Christians now. They obviously have to deal with rape in a very moral and mature professional manner, right? Deuteronomy 22, 23, 24. If within the city a man comes upon a maiden who is betrothed and has relations with her, you shall bring them both forth out to the gate and of the city, and there you shall stone them to death. The girl, because she did not cry out for help, though she was in the city, and the man, because he violated his neighbor's wife. You know, like property. 
Okay, so um, one particular law in the Bible is that you have to not only kill the rapist, but you kill the rape victim. Let's see, what are some other rape laws in the Bible? If a man is caught in the act of raping a woman who is not engaged, he must pay 50 pieces of silver to her father. Then he must marry the young woman because he violated her. And he will never be allowed to divorce her. Well, at least there's a contingency in there. She's not ruined for life, right? I think we need to start passing laws now that, that you know, uh, really reflect the Bible. Uh, because it's such a... A good document. We need to get all Saudi Arabia up in this bitch. So how do contemporary Christians now handle this uh, rape epidemic that seems to be happening uh, across primarily Christian campuses? Well, Bob Jones University in uh, Greenville, South Carolina, uh, they actually seek to place the blame of the rape on the rape victim, asking them to examine what sin caused this rape. Pensacola Christian College, down in good old Florida, uh, they um, pretty much do the same thing. They uh, place the blame on the rape victim, they hide uh, police reports, they... Um, they, they antagonize the rape victims, and they call them liars. Also at Pensacola Christian College, um, they, uh, they like to spout the idea that the rape victim should uh, apologize to her rapist and ask for forgiveness. Because obviously it was her fault. Well, to finish this out, Let's actually see how religion is doing right now in the news. A Kentucky church actually hired a, a registered sex offender to be the pastor of their church. Which, of course, now he's facing charges of molesting and raping a 14-year-old boy of that church. Way to go, religion! Next up, we have a pastor that's currently serving jail time that um, is actually uh, asking for a reduced sentence because, of course, it was his rape victim's fault. <sighs> that's just per the Bible. Swedish authorities have actually figured out that um, every girl in one class has undergone genital, genital mutilation. Now, in, in case you're unclear of this, genital mutilation of little girls is actually them slicing off the, the labia of developing girls. The labia and the clitoris. Um, because logic and shit, right? In Bristol, uh, there was a school that was actually caught lying about evolution. I'm not exactly sure, but I think lying makes baby Jesus cry. Coming back to America, a Christian radio show host was actually arrested because he was trying to buy sex with little boys. And here's the benefit of all of these shitty little stories. All they have to do is get down on their knees and just with all their hearts say, I'm sorry. And they call that justice. That's what religion does to you. It causes you to take horrible, horrible things. And just because someone says, oh, I'm sorry, I believe Jesus, it makes it okay. Religion is outdated, as 30% of the people in this poll denoted. Religion's outdated. Religion doesn't offer any answers. If anything, it creates more questions. Please like, comment below, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content of this nature. Uh, please find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that good stuff down below.